Many thousands of years in the future, the president of Zombie Nation, Doc Green, uncovered the DNA of Jesus and resurrected him in order to save the human race from death. They called him Jesus II, and he was a nightmare asshole. Doc Green couldn't control Jesus II, and he flew across the galaxy on a black comet spraying magic jizz all over the many inhabited worlds. His confetti-like fluids bestowed immortal life to every living creature. Hundreds of years passed, and although no one had died, no one wanted to live anymore. Reasons for existence or enjoying experience became abstract, and many people succumbed to the hellish, depraved life of torture and ugly spectacle. Death ceased to exist, as did the relationship between the living and the dead, held hostage by Jesus II's cursed party fluid. In a desperate and sacrificial move, the heavenly angelic beings created a ship that would help smuggle the living into the world of the dead. The ship was discovered by two space pirate brothers named Sunday and Monday. They moved in and brought along their old hippie parents who tended to the Eden-like gardens. On the ship, the boys were able to commune with the last living angel who gave them instructions on how to cross people over to the afterlife, as well as assisting in the killing of Jesus too. Unfortunately, not everyone in the universe is on board with the brothers' angelic plan. The president of Zombie Nation wants to destroy them. The tech wizards want to capture their warp drive. The simulords believe they are heretics. The prime minister of the universe doesn't want to give up his perceived meaning of life. The time police believe they've committed time crime. Man-sized viruses want to infect their ship. Space pirates want revenge on the brothers for having abandoned them. The military want to retro-engineer the ship to improve their military hardware. The nomads want to scrap them. Black market art collectors want to commodify them. But to the people of Earth, they are their only hope. This is the story of two brothers trying to end the curse of Jesus too. I hope you like it.